Hello, Risky. I'm back. Hi, Thomas. Here you are. I haven't seen you on the football field for the whole summer. All the team members met you. Where have you been, buddy? Oh, I had a busy vacation in Japan with my family. It was the most wonderful trip that I ever taken. You would not believe what I saw. Wow, it's so fantastic! Can you tell me about that? Well, my family was invited to the wedding in Japan. That's was my uncle's wedding. He went there to study in 2010. It had been more than 10 years now. Then he met a Japanese girl, and they decided to get married after a long time of getting to know each other. What is a free trip? Not really. My uncle let us stay in his apartment for the whole trip, and he paid all the costs during the time that we stayed in Japan. But we needed to buy the flight ticket by ourselves. That's okay, we totally understand that. You're so lucky. I never traveled overseas before. Don't be jealous, Ricky. There will be a chance in the future when you are able to make your own money. Then you could go anywhere you want. Yeah, I hope so. Look, Ricky, I bought you some gifts. Some gifts? Yep, not only that, but many of them. I wanted you to enjoy the trip as much as I did. So, I used all my expenses to buy the item for use. Check it out. That's really nice of you. But you don't have to do that, Thomas. No problem. Okay, what is a bug? Bingo, it's a bug. I'll tell you something, this is not a normal bug. What is special about it? Look at it. Do you see it moving? Yeah, it really does. What is it on the earth? How can a beetle stay alive after such a long trip? Where do you find it? Guess it by yourself. In the forest? No. On the beach? No, I didn't. Then where? I'm tired of guessing. Can you just tell me the answer, please? Okay, if you insist on it, I'll say it. I'm begging you, Thomas. In the vending machine. How often have you gone to a vending machine to get a can of coke or a bag of chips? Not very frequently, but I just took one of them yesterday. What if you found a pair of live beetles in the vending machine? How would you feel about that? Will you be surprised? Sure I will. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible, Ricky. It may sound strange, but a company in Japan sells large beetles through a vending machine. Wow, that is incredible. Yep, I was shocked at first. My dad told me that not all people like this idea, especially the vending machine company and nature conservationist. Who would like to collect this thing? Many school age children in Japan like to collect them. Other adults also enjoy this hobby. However, people are building more and more houses, which means destroying the beetles' home. So, it makes it more challenging to find the beetles in the wild. So, is that the reason why the company started to sell the bugs in the vending machine? What a weirdo. Yep, it started in 1999. What is the name of that company? The Myra Seiko Company. 
Okay, let me find some information about that company on the internet. Oh, here it is. There was a newspaper report about my race cycle. What did it say? The company said that they want to help everybody on those rare insects. And we don't have to worry about their living environment. The company ensures that the beetles in the machine are being taken good care of. Yay! I don't know if I should believe it or not, but I have to say that the machines are very popular. They sell 1,500 beetles per month. Sometimes, people buy all the beetles in the machine in just a few minutes. Wonderful! Do you say that some people disagree with the type of business? Who are they? The conversationists. They think the machines are harmful. Why? The company said the environment in the machine is totally safe for the bugs. When the conversationists mention harmful, they don't only want to talk about the environment, but also about cell awareness. Children may think that the living creatures are like soft drinks or boxes of candies. Oh, that's right. Is unacceptable. How about you? What do you think about the bug vending machine? Well, in my opinion, the vending machines give people a rare experience, but they give children bad ideas. I don't feel it is right to set the bugs in the machine. Either way, the company show how clever people can be. You can say that again. Thank you for your gift. I will take care of the bug. You're welcome. Let's check out all the gifts. Wow, that's incredible. These are the gifts that I always wanted. A pair of chopsticks. Yeah, I know that you're a sushi lover. Chopsticks are known at Hashi in Japan. There are many stores all over the country that specialize in chopsticks. I personally like ones with your name on them. Do you like it? Absolutely, yes. How about this one? Is it a cat? Yep, a welcoming cat. This isn't a lucky charm. It is present almost everywhere in Japan and is believed to attract a lot of customers for the owners. Fantastic. I will put it in my dad's store. I hope the number of customers coming to our store will increase. Sure. So, among all the gifts, which one is your favorite? Hmm, it's too hard to pick. I like all the gifts. They are interesting to me. Hmm, but if I have to choose, I think the bug would be the best choice. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew that you loved the bug the most. Where do you think you will keep it? Hmm, you know what? I'm thinking about making it a small cage with protective transparent glass and ensuring that none of my pets can reach it. May I visit it sometime? Of course you may. Let me buy you lunch at a thank you. Wow, great. Let's go. I'm hungry.